back in the 80s, first starting out with Alter Boys, and of course we had all the great happening in Orange County with other Christian groups like um, Undercover, Lifters, Chosen Ones, and we were real, real family. Sometimes dysfunctional family, but a, but a great a family nonetheless. And every December, we come around and uh, starting in '82, we would always do a Christmas benefit for the Orange County Rescue Mission and benefit for the poor. In fact, I'm looking at some flyers right now. I I dug up a bit of a, a pack rat. This one's from 1982, and this was in Buena Park and Undercover Lifesavers, Altar Boys, Lifters, and the Chosen Ones. And like I said, we did these every year, and they were all memorable and all great. And just a, a good time and for a for a good cause. And I believe the last one we did it was about 1986, 1987, and that was at the Holiday Skate Center in Orange. And we had the Fourth Watch, Common Bond, which of course had Chuck in it, and uh, what was. Real neat too is we had Steve Taylor came out and played for us. We got a chance to uh, get a chance to participate in it. So those were were great memories for for me and for us and for a great cause. And of course the Ultra Boys always did their Christmas song. And our chosen one was uh, Oh Come All Ye Faithful, done real punk rock style. Oh Come All Ye Faithful, joyful and triumphant. And we just loved. Love doing that song. So it was always a, a great spirit of, of the band being together and, and being unified for a cause and uh, doing it also for uh, Orange County Rescue Mission that, uh, as we know, is still doing very, very well today. And I still get a chance to get out there and uh, uh, serve over there once or twice a year playing for them and great folks and great memories. Wonderful. And then how did Silent Night end up on Forever Mercy? Well, Silent Night was Rick's Rick's song uh, that he brought in. We were working with Steve Griffith at the time for for, for Forever Mercy, and uh, he brought that one. And, of course, you know, the mainly out of out of Luke. And he didn't really tell the story about the birth of Jesus, but done in, in a real, real unique, artsy way, way across the fields where the starlight falls on this road to the little town. I mean, very articulate in his writing. I I kind of helped arrange it a little bit. Mostly it was, it was uh, Rick's song, and Steve had the idea of kind of slowing it down and making it a little bit more, I don't want to say plotty sounding, but a little more thoughtful sounding. He also played, uh, I think, uh, drum, some drums on the track too. And it was the last song of the uh, of the record, and it fit real well and really kind of um, just closed things off real nicely. This next song has a traditional title, but there's nothing traditional about this Christmas punk rock anthem. Here's Silent Night by Alter Boys off their album Forever Mercy. <laughs> And 
silent world.